Hey, what's up coin hunters and welcome to a world coin search with me, Richie. Right, I've been meaning to do this for ages. Back at the end of October, I went to Italy for a week. And I saved all my change, <laughs> all the Euro pence and everything. And I thought, I bring it home, I put it in my album, and I never got around to doing it. So I thought, as I'm off work today and I've got nothing to do, this would be a good time to do it. So I'm going to pour everything out. So there should only be euros in here. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to look through from... Well, we're going to spend 10 minutes. Uh, so it'll probably just be the euro pennies, or the one euro cent. So I do have a few already, and they are very small. They're like the size of the old half pence. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two of them are from Spain. Two different ones. We've got Netherlands, um, Italy, Ireland. I think that one's Greece. Germany, France, and um, Austria. So I'm going to hopefully at least add one more to my collection. So what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to see if I can pick out all of them. And then I'm going to see what we have. Hopefully they're not all French or Italian. And... Because that seems to be the most common ones you do find. And then I should have done this before I started filming, but oh well. So we are going to pull out all the pence that we can find. And we're going to see, for my week's trip, did we get any we don't already have that's living in the back of the American album. So I have my app that's here. Let's just bring it up. It's called Eurocoins. So this is going to be the app that we use. So I'm going to click on that. Yeah, so it's Austria that we have. France, Germany, yeah, Greece, Ireland, Italy. And then the two, oh wait. Oh, I've got one of the two of the Netherlands. And then down here, Spain, two of two. I'm just going to put that there. Is there any more in there? No. Nope. So we're just going to move them over. These are our pennies that we've got. I'm call it, just going to call them pennies. So I know that this little guy, let's see, is a French. See it with the face? There we go. So any of them ones with the face, there's another one, we don't want to put in the album. We've got one here that I don't think we've got. So it's got two goats on it. Do we have it? Let's have a look. None of these have a goat on it. So let's see if we can find it on here. So we're looking for anything with two goats. There it is, Cyprus. So if I bring it up for another view, you can see it better there. And that one there. So how many across is it? Cyprus. So Belgium has three. So I need to go... Austria, Belgium, 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 Cyprus. There we go. So we do have one that doesn't want to go in, going into the album. Now at the moment, the al my I don't have just a specific album for my Euro collection, which I should do. They sit behind my, just marking that, um, American collection. So let's keep going. We've got that, that's the Italian one. You see it's got a building on. Not sure what that building is, but and there's one from the Netherlands. Another Italian there. Now the French one is the most common. Like all the ones I'm picking out at the moment were French. We got one there with a boat on. Do we have one with a boat? We do, that's the Greek one. So there's the Greek one there. 
and there's the other one so we don't need that uh, let's just turn them all over and have a look and see if there's anything I can see an Irish one there's loads of French ones that Italian one looks quite nice I might actually replace that let me have a look at that one yeah I'm gonna replace the Italian one with this one what year is that that's a 2017 so from the looks of it when it comes to pennies there's a German, we've got German, Spain, Spain, Italian, uh, what's that one that's flipped? There's another Austrian one there, that's a nice looking Austrian one, but that one's even nicer. So we're going to replace the, the Austrian and the, what did I say, the Italian ones. Got f it, uh, Island, another Austrian one there. Another one there. French, 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 and the rest of French. So, after my whole week in Italy, I have only added Cyprus to the collection <laughs> when it comes to Euro pennies. So, what we're going to do before we wrap up the video is we're going to replace the Austrian. And the Italian with shinier examples. Now these are going to get super hard to get because they're not really used. Oops, I'm trying to use a pen. This isn't the best way to do it. Um, they're going to get super hard to get each trip now when I go visit my family um, because of obviously I don't. I think the European Union are going to start phasing them out. So hopefully. I can still get them for a while that's gone behind I'll tell you what I'll do that off camera and the Italian one is there so let's just poke underneath there and just gently pop that out and then we're gonna drop that one there so out of all of them <laughs> we got two new shiny ones and a uh, Cyprus. So, yeah, most of them are French. They're all 50 cents that we do in a later video. I think each we do each video we concentrate on one denomination and see how many we can add. Um, but yeah, so we've added Cyprus to it. So we still need loads more. I think it comes down to about here. On the page which hmm, don't know if we're ever gonna get to so guys thank you very very much just double checking while I say goodbye um, for taking the time to watch my videos I hope you've enjoyed just seeing a couple of euro cents if you have leave it a like um, and thank you very much again so I will see you in the next one which will be two euro cents so guys, thank you very much for taking the time and I will see you later. Happy coin hunting guys. Goodbye.